Yo. What up? Alright. Um, so uh we had uh Carl Pilkington versus Steve Merchant, all the insults. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. Carl versus Steve. Carl mm. versus Steve. I'm guessing this is from the um their podcast. Okay. <laughs> the Ricky Gervais show. Okay, okay. Well, this should be funny. Now, I mean, you, de- you definitely hear Steve, you know, throw a lot of insults, but... A lot, a lot of jabs. Yeah, a lot of jabs. From, from Ricky, too. You yeah, hear a lot yeah, of jabs yeah. from Ricky, too. Exactly. And I, I'm, 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 I'm ready to hear these Carl insults yeah, that I may like, have missed or yes. something that just may have flew over my head, <laughs> you know? But let's go, man. You ready? Yes. And the little bald man twat that is the shaven monkey known as Carl Pilkington. Right. See, that's Ricky. Now, Rick, just a quick question, because if people have just stumbled across this, perhaps on the uh, internet or on their uh, TV channel, they're probably going to be a little bit alarmed by what you've said there. You've come straight in with little bold man twat, and a lot of people don't know who that little bold man twat is, so maybe you should clarify. Well, um, I'm, gonna say, I'm, I, I, I'm Ricky Gervais. You probably know me from such shows as The Office and Extras, cameos in the odd film. Um, my uh, long-term partner, not in that way, Stephen Merchant. <laughs> no, in that way. Uh, Stephen Merchant, yes, I was involved with some of those projects, uh, but I've not been in a film. And uh, <laughs> we met Carl when we went back to XFM as Conquering Heroes. We were, we were let go when uh, XFM changed hands, um, and then uh, we did The Office, and then we came back, and we were big shots. No longer did we need to run the desk or press any buttons. Okay. Um, so we were assigned... Um, how can I put this? Uh, like a, a stupid lackey. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, proper. St- I mean, probably the person who was lowest on the rung. I'd have thought so. <laughs> they said, oh, g- give it to me. No one wants to work the Saturdays. The caretaker didn't work Saturdays, so they gave <laughs> yeah. us Carl. And we met Carl, and um, I was first struck by <clears throat> the roundness of his head, I'll be <laughs> honest. I thought, this is a bald man. Um, a little round-headed, bald freak of a man. He opened his mouth. He spoke funny. Um, actually he spoke without opening his mouth that was the second thing that struck me he just had this slack jawed gimpness about him words came out um, I, think, were... I think they got the idea now anyway was, what... <laughs> <laughs> do you feel that that was a balanced uh, explanation of your meeting with us or would you like to offer any extra detail there Carl um, well with every meeting there's a, there's a different story isn't there um, the way you sort of looked at me and thought he's weird I saw Steve, it was like a triangle. <laughs> Ricky was looking at me, I was looking at you, uh, thinking that's weird. Uh, it seems yeah, that's, un- that's unjust that I'm the, I, you know, why don't you have any go at Ricky for being fat and Just because, old. no, I'm just saying on the first meeting, right. it's like a museum, isn't it? Everybody rushes to the weird stuff first. <laughs> Uh, I love the fact that you're putting yourself firmly in that category as well, though. Oh, I love that. that, that that's great, like someone from Reservoir Dogs. Everyone looking at someone else. But you don't feel that way about me anymore. No, I've got used to it now. That's, that's what I'm no, saying. No, I'm saying you, you, that whatever your accusations of weirdness were, they all were unfounded. It moves, it moves on, doesn't it? It's like like anything, you get you get used to, to a look, don't you? Um, I, I watch a lot of programmes on stuff that people have up with them. and, and You that. only watch programmes about people that have got something wrong with them. That is what you do. If, if ever you say, did you see that thing last night? It's going to be something like the, 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 the kid who was born with too many legs yeah. or the, the, the baby with an ass for a head. It's yeah. always going to be stuff like that. It's like there was a programme on a bit back about a fella who had a, had a funny head and what have you and he lived in a small village uh. and nobody double-taked anymore because you get used to it, don't what, you? What was up with his head? Just had like a, it was sort of like the new elephant man. He'd sort of had gone for that look. <laughs> He'd gone and, uh, for that look. And, well, uh, what does he do in the morning? Just eat a bun, sort of no, shave. It's just, it's just that's what, all I'm saying is people in his village. You want a big village. People are used to it, and they're no longer stared. And that's what I'm saying with you. Um, but it's yeah. interesting that because you you say you've acclimatised to my so-called weirdness. I don't know what weirdness that is. I've, I've still not grasped that. But Ricky continues. Yeah, what? It's just the eyes. <laughs> you well, said it's listing. Why are you listing? Yeah, so I've not had a go at you and you see your f***ing <laughs> round head like a f***ing <laughs> orange. Which is the thing which perpetually entertains Ricky. Ricky has never acclimatised to you. Is that fair, Rick? Yeah, I love it. I just, I can't get enough of him. Because I see different things. Every time I look at Carl, sometimes I see like a completely sort of like spherical object. 
right? Like a uh, on, honestly, like some sort of pumpkin uh, on, <laughs> on you know uh, Halloween. And then yeah. I see him. I see <laughs> Ricky getting flat the straight with on a pumpkin, Steve, right. with, with a with a jack o' lantern outside someone's house. Right? There is a certain light behind the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Not with Carl. And then sometimes he looks like a plate. Do you know what I mean? Like you know, like a, a, a clay uh, plate yeah. that a oh, child really has made. Well, they've they've oh. made a face on the plate using yeah. their their food or a biscuit, <laughs> like one of those biscuits, a novelty biscuits you can buy. Sure, at your you birthday. can ice with a little smile into my yeah. <laughs> Damn. Carl, do you just want to have a dig at me? Because it's coming up to two o'clock, and you've not really put a lot of uh, effort in today, slagging me off. I on purpose. No, he's, 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 just, he's just an honest northerner, and he can't lie. He's like George Washington, but without the wooden teeth. Yeah. Um, I don't think your heart's in it anymore, either, Carl. I was all right today, but Steve's really dragged me down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, let's... There's, wait, 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 I just need to know why. No, do you know, like, yeah. people are being miserable around you. Yep. I was full yep. of beans when I came in. Yep, 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 yeah, but you yep. remember last week, you were really miserable and that really wound me up. Yeah, because he was done so to do stuff. Was, uh, you know, he'd been let down and they were worried about yeah, the next show. You were in a terrible mood. Yeah, yeah. looking me like you songs. were. I wasn't like going off and lying on the settee, looking ill. Talking that voice. Oh, he's done you again. I said, I, just now, being quite friendly. Yeah, Carl, Steve. Carl, have you ever tried to get into the monarch for free? Because <laughs> I'll be honest, mate, it's not going to happen for you. <laughs> Come out with me, mate, you got a quid off. <laughs> all right? Oh. When well, you can get in places in Camden for free. Yeah, well, all right, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's done you. Do, do you not care about the job? I mean, I've got to ask because, you know, I mean, if I was in charge, I'd worry about your motivation or because we yesterday we were trying to work out what you enjoyed doing, and we got to uh, Manchester United and moaning, and that is that is the two we came I up with. I don't know where you get the moaning thing. You're from. always whinging about what everything. What, when when did I last have a moan? Uh, just before we came on here. Right, and why was that? <laughs> um, I don't know, I can't remember. Because well, we were in good mood, we were in a good mood, me and Rick. I'll tell you why. Go on. Because you brought a song in at ten to one. Yeah. With a load of effing and jeffing in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And saying, can you edit this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's your job. You could have brought it in yesterday. No, I couldn't. Why not? I hadn't thought of it. Hmm. <laughs> But why, but why, but why are you whinging? That's your job. And I did come in ten minutes before, it was a good twenty minutes before. It just took you ages because you were whinging and moaning mm. to even get started. <laughs> How did you meet your girlfriend? <laughs> through work. <laughs> what, through her work? <laughs> what, <laughs> you found out and said you- work at the same place. Oh, you're right, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. You're quite an enigma, aren't you? Could you give us more on that? <laughs> at work. You met her at work. What, she came in selling sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> she was going through the bins outside. What, what do you mean you met her Why are you having an attack on me? You're I'm the one who's sad and lonely. <laughs> oh, he's done you again! He's done you yeah, again! Yeah, but what, what I thought was interesting was no. I just scratched at him and he just went mental. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like a bear caught in a trap. It's, it's funny, isn't it? You'll never learn. Carl, no, I was just interested to find out what the story was because it might be a really romantic <laughs> story. Well, it's, it's not. All right, jeez. I mean, I, he doesn't want to talk about, about you, his love affair. I, I, I was thinking about you in the week, and like, <laughs> does it worry you? I mean, you sort of joke about it now, and we're talking about it in the office, you know, like, oh, is, is Steve really touchy about the way he looks? And the... oh, what's <laughs> he's done it again. He's done you again. And I was walking home the other night, and I was thinking about it. And do you <laughs> worry that when you're old, you will be on your own? <laughs> Started though, didn't you? Well, Carl, I'm glad you pulled this up. Because no, no, because I, I mean, for me, you know, a, a lightweight, frothy entertainment show on XFM on a Saturday afternoon is exactly the place <laughs> where I want to discuss the desperate, lonely future that's inevitably coming my way. Oh, God. I, I'll tell you what, we'll cheer you up and forget yeah. all that. A bit of embrace. <laughs> oh, no. one of the most hated fans. Oh. I left the pub in a bit of a mood because yeah. I, I just fed up with not getting anything done. Yeah. Walking down the road, I was thinking, how can I get out of this? How can I stop having to work with them? I'm thinking, I wonder if I, if I leave, I wonder if they'll be funny and they'll go, and then my boss will be giving me stick. I'm thinking, how long, how much notice have I got to give out? How, how, and all this is going through my mind. I'm walking home and I got in, I said to Suzanne, I'm sick of it. She's going, you need to do it when I get a new kitchen. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, but how big does the kitchen need to be? I was saying, do we need a big kitchen? Can we get a small one? Have we got enough for a small kitchen? Do we need so many cupboards? Can we just have wood instead of steel? All this, try to get out of doing this. Yeah. It's always just, I always feel like, you know, because I, I like to think that I'm not perhaps as bad as him. Yeah, no. You annoy me in different ways. Like, <laughs> like what? How does he annoy you? 
Well, stuff stuff that, you know, I come up with ideas, say yeah. Cheap as Chimps, yeah. uh, Rock Busters springs yeah. to mind, yeah. uh, 15 like Taiwan. Rock. Uh, <laughs> 15 Taiwan. Let's just remind people what 15 Taiwan was. It was a little feature that I wanted to give a run, you know, give it a little run, see if people like it. Uh, the premise we'll, being? No, there's no premise, it's just a title. No, we were going to get 15 sort of ornaments, you'd explain them, and then people would call up and say, <laughs> that was from Taiwan. <laughs> Carl, you just explained why I didn't think that was a good idea. Yeah, By explaining the good... No, so, you know, the funny thing is, Steve, right, I was walking down Regent Street on Monday, Walk past one of these big stores, right, and they've got all famous quote, quotes on the windows, right, yeah. and one of them was something like, an absurd idea is often a great idea. Yeah. Do you know who said that? Go on. Einstein. Yes. Which made me wonder, if you were his mate, would he ever have done E equals MC squared? <laughs> or would you have said, don't bother with that, it's not going to work? Because that's all you seem to do, everything I come up with, yeah. you pop down. Yeah. Well that's one thing, he's negative, right, I don't know, I don't know why, I don't okay. know why he is. What well, else? He messes me about, I get him concert tickets for stuff, and, yeah. and you say, oh, I didn't bother going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is annoying. You come in, you know, five minutes to go with tracks that need editing. Yeah. 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 The little bag, that bag that was free. Yeah, you got a free bag today, an yeah. XFM little rucksack thing. Yeah. yeah. You were like, oh, what's this, what's this rubbish? Yeah. Ricky said, I'll have it, they're great. You yeah. said, no, I want it. Yeah, it's <laughs> free. I needed. Yeah. Um, I give that as a well, gift. So, so I mean, I think on reflection, Steve is probably a little bit more annoying than me. Mm. <laughs> I, I won't go that far. <laughs> you are, you are annoying. If I had to go away for a week somewhere, mm. if it was a quiet place, well, you are again, aren't you? That's two orders you had this week, <laughs> this year. I mean, if it was a busy place, I'd probably go with you because people, do you know what I mean, staring at me all the time and that. If I'm walking around with Steve. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just... <laughs> Can I draw up a list of reasons I don't like you, Carl? <laughs> be honest. Well, uh, shit. I'll tell you, because the list of reasons I don't like you is incredibly long. <laughs> I'm getting longer. Just saying. Do you want another snack? <laughs> Damn. Damn. Uh, been very quiet week. Uh, been checking, uh, I was looking in books last night and stuff. Uh, so is there been... any monkey news? I, I've, I've got some, but just because it's not that good, something else I found out that I thought I'd share with you. Go on. I was looking in the Guinness Book of Records, right, because I thought they'll have something in there about monkeys or something, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a little monkey, I think it lives in Asia, right? Uh, there's loads of them live in Asia. Might and, just be travelling, but yeah. And um, something I found out, I don't know if they've got it right, and that's why I want to bring it up. Uh, apparently, it's the mammal, right, that's got sort of the, the pointiest eyes. Eyes that pop out of the red. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> the thing is, right, <laughs> I thought that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Apparently it's, it's, it's the biggest with the sort of goggle eye type thing. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on. Apparently they, they come out of the red, um, 1.6 centimetres. 1.6 centimetres? What, you mean they protrude? Yeah, they uh, protrude uh, from the head at 1.6. Okay. What, how, how long? <laughs> Have you got a ruler, Rick? <laughs> 1.6. One point, one point I'd say I'd be a little bit annoyed if the monkeys beat me. Well, I don't think it has. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. Uh, Is there anything we can... I mean, what's 1.6? Oh, can you... It's about... Drop your trousers. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, about, oh, about three quarters of an inch. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Have they got it right or what? <laughs> Maybe I should come down to Monkey World with you next week. Uh, uh, so anyway, so that's that's not <laughs> Monkey News. That's just something that cropped up. And sure. <laughs> I do know once when we were playing pool in the office. I think Lucy was your partner. Yeah, it was me and Ash versus you and Lucy, and um, you were having trouble because his glasses kept slipping down. So Lucy pushed his glasses up his nose, but the glasses touched his arm. 
<laughs> you do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He started it. He started it. Well, you're the one who joined in. <laughs> I know, and I feel, I'm, I feel bad now. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, no, I'm just trying to think about which part of your fat, middle-aged physique I can pick on. <laughs> the tits would be good. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Oh, the belly. Sure. Oh, what do you think of that? <laughs> oh, that, that's... What is that? <laughs> Waiting for... By the way, Red Hot Chili Peppers on XFM 104.9. So, a few more shows. I, I, I'm so only uh, happy. Mm. I should encourage, you know, we've only been radio, you know, a couple of years. Exactly. Trying. You, encourage young ta- you encourage young talent yeah. like you. Yeah. Instead of giving it to Radio 1 and Radio 2. And the old war horses. We just had a quick email. I wonder if you can answer this. It's James from NW1. He says, Ricky, is Carl going to be on this week's show? Please let me know as I may listen if he's not. <laughs> Um, sadly, oh, he is here. I mean, do. people are already turning against you, Carl, because they've seen what's happened. Yeah. I think they've probably realised that we've I think we gave you, you too much. Enough. I think, exactly, I think we've got a spoiled sort of kid in our hands. It's sort of like, you know, <laughs> we, we knew, we knew how bad he was, but we were trying to sort of bring him out of his shell a little bit. Yeah. Encourage, you got to encourage sort of, um, children like Carl. Well, yeah, exactly. Just exactly. sort of fend for themselves. Mm. Um, but, uh, I like the fact that Dickie Anderson had that wonderful... Rand. I mean, it was an articulate email. It was quite long, and he must have typed it immediately. I'm thinking because he's a fan of the show and he, he thinks I'm a you know a genius. We need a PA, sure, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon he'd come and work for us? Um, well, it can't be any worse than what we've already got. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know. So there you go. Then we're giving up. We're giving up radio. We're going to concentrate on television. Carl's going to probably go back to what your little. Just doing your well, sounds. The thing I won a silver for at the Sony's. Funny that, mm. isn't it? Oh, you won a silver, did you? I got a silver, yeah. No, for yeah doing, that for doing the proper job that I do here in the week. Well, no, it's two of you for a start. Yeah. Well, there's three of us. Can't even get a bronze. <laughs> now, who's the weak link? <laughs> right? Well, <laughs> bit weird, eh? let's get. Let's look. Let's get, let's not argue. We haven't got many shows to do. To be fair, though, this this show is, is. I think it's more to do with the fact that you talk on this show that has brought us down. Right, I'm saying it's hardly today. No, well, this is an award-winning show, potentially. <laughs> we'll add this one in for yeah. next year. <laughs> oh. If we could just keep Sturm, we might have a chance. Alright. Well, coming up, right. Come Let's on. put it behind us. Okay. Let's draw a line under it. Stephen co-wrote and, uh, directed The Office and Extras with me. Um, you may have seen him in Extras as the agent. Uh, you may have seen him briefly in The Office. He is a goggle-eyed freak. <laughs> You're referring to the character there, are you? Or... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, um, no, well, no, no, it's just a little inconvenient. I'm just trying to paint a picture for people at Christmas. Sure. Steve. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say goggle-eyed. I think goggle-eyed freak's harsh. You know, these are pretty, these are designer specs. And, uh, yeah, admittedly I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit tall, but, uh... Six foot seven. Yeah, but let's not have a go at that. Carl, we're good more or less late. I think we should play a record. We've done introductions. Yeah, pop a little song on. But do you remember well, the first time you saw Steve? Well, let, let's, let's pop a little song on on that, all right? Chat about it in a bit. Uh, uh, Bruce Springsteen. Bit of Bruce Springsteen. Now, uh, it's difficult to describe Carl, I just think you'll have to get to know him over the next, um, two hours. But, um, we have, um, uh, taken the liberty of getting some stuff ready for you if you want to find out more about him. If you go to rickygervais.com, we've put up a special little page. Go into Who's Carl, and we've got a little biography up of him, and loads of pictures. And you have never seen a head rounder. Than, he looks like Mr. Spoon from Button Moon. <laughs> yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or Bod. Yeah. Bod. Grown up. Like There's it, a little yeah. bit of Charlie Brown in there. He's even got a little striped shirt. It's perfectly rounded. It's balding. Yeah. like to, And it's not, it's not a sort of like a, a good balding. It's sort of like, he looks like a worn <laughs> tennis ball. Do you yeah. know what I mean? He's got a little bit of growth. He's yeah. got that sort of Teddy, De- Teddy Savalas cool bald. No. It's just a scruffy little, I don't know what it is. Happy like Christmas and that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that then, Carl? Your introduction to the nation. Well, you know, if we're going to start picking on locks and stuff, like you mentioned before, we can we can go over everyone in this room. What? I mean, let's make it fair. What? Let's, have a chat, let's have a chat about about Steve over there. What? What are you talking about? Well, you know, you know, sort of how I felt when I first saw you. 
<laughs> wait, wait, wait. Right, don't go mad, Steve. Let Carl speak. Right, this is his platform. No, no, I'm but, just saying you just but, said about painting a picture. Yeah, go on then. I wouldn't paint a picture of that. <laughs> is it, is that is, no, I'm not, Steve, you know I'm not having a go, mate. What, you're a good, what do you, you mean you're not having a go? It sounds like you're having a go. Yeah. Well, what did you think when you first saw him, mate? When he first walked into that room all those years ago? Uh, sort of uh, thought he looked like a cartoon. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, Steve. You know, you know, but you know that you look a little bit odd. This, this what? isn't like a, this isn't like a shock to you. You've had this. How old are you now? Thirty-one. Right, but so I you're thir- like thirty-one. I don't, I don't, what do you look like as a baby? <laughs> I mean, why is this a character assassination? No, no, I'm, not, I'm not having a go. I'm just saying what it was like. Now I'm, I'm used to you now. When I see you, I don't sort of double take anymore. <laughs> I just. What's coming out with this? No, but you know, when, when you popped in and that, it was just a bit of a shock. And now, you know, I've, I've got used to it and that. Good, you're happy now. You can cope now. Yeah. Hold on. You were shocked when you sold Steve Merchant. You told me once you went to school with two fellas who had big heads and webbed hands and feet. Yeah. And they weren't related. Why Why were there two people like your school? And yet you find Steve <laughs> freaky. You never said freaky. <laughs> <laughs> you said freaky. You said freaky. <laughs> Carl, it was you that worked out the maths and worked out I was 28. Because they just worked out I'm 27. You are 27. No way. Yeah, I, t- I asked you, didn't I? And yeah, I said, because, no, but what I sort of questioned was, I said, well, if you're 27 today, that means last week you were 26. Well, well done, yeah. That's um, irrelevant. So, so therefore you assumed that I must be 28 then? Yeah. Whereas I, I assumed you were using, you know, your knowledge of maths, no, such I, as it is. I wouldn't do that. No, sure, sure. Wow. I, I actually got lost in that conversation because I didn't, I genuinely didn't know what he meant with, would mean last week you were 26. I don't uh, know what that <laughs> I meant. I don't know what it meant. Wow. Well, it is Steve's birthday. But and he would have been 26 last week. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you, uh, you genuinely frighten me because it's those staring eyes, there's nothing behind him, it's this little bald head. Looks like Davros looking at me. Genuine, just genuine fear on his face when he enters into a conversation with another human but what, being. But what bit don't you understand? If, he, if he's 27 today, he would have been 26 last week and he doesn't look 26. He didn't look 26 last week. He looks older than 28 today. <laughs> You've started on, on his birthday, you're still having a go at him. Carl, I don't look like the kind of hot stud that I actually am, but face facts, that's the <laughs> truth, mate. Yeah, get live with, with it. it. Get with live the program, jeez. Steve must have a hard time being six seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and being bug eyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goggle eye. <laughs> Damn. Oh man, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that shit was funny. He's like, Ricky, Ricky said, now, now, do you remember we were playing pool? <laughs> He said your eyes, fell, your glasses fell down to your nose. You <laughs> would push him up. He said they touched your eyeball. <laughs> ah, I got it. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> so it. Your eyes gotta be protruding a lot <laughs> if the glasses touch your eyes <laughs> when you push them up. <laughs> He said, you remember that? He's like, yeah. (laughs) 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 Oh, shit. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) The girl had to push his glasses up. (laughs) 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 Oh, shit. Damn. Uh, Damn. (laughs) Damn. Damn, Carl. That was, that was Carl's monkey news. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I said, pop out of the head. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Carl started, always started off. I'm not having to go. But <laughs> yeah. You're having to go. <laughs> <laughs> So this is part one. This is part one. We got we got some parts to this. Okay, definitely, definitely. Ricky was in there too, throwing a couple of shots, man. But at first, Ricky was yeah. the main one throwing the shots at Carl. Exactly, and that's you know that's constant. But then Ricky went back and forth between Carl and Steve. <laughs> yeah, and you can see Steve and Carl's relationship a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and all these are from the Ricky Gervais show. 
Yes, I believe these are from yeah. the podcast. Yeah. Okay, from the podcast. Okay. 